is May 23rd, 2021. Um, just gonna go into a couple of my home hives. This hive we requeened about three weeks ago um, since I've found five queen cells and no queen. So I'm gonna split the queen cells between the two boxes, put a double board between them, see if we can raise two queens. And this is a hive that hadn't been doing very well. I requeened also about two weeks ago. <clears throat> and we'll go in and see how it's doing. Um, it seems to be picking up a little bit, but um, I might just take a quick look into this one. This is the one I really want to split because the cells are due to hatch in about three days. So I thought I'd get that uh, divider up and see if we can raise two queens. I might re-merge them after the fact, but uh, anyways, I think we'll try to get uh, two queen cells out of it, or two queens. Well, we'll get going. Let's see what these guys are up to. It's only about 14 or 16 degrees Celsius today. Not very warm. Say this package, I put a little bit of sugar on them and trying to see if we can get them boosted, but you know what? They just haven't been eating. Well, that might come off permanently. Not a lot of bees in here. One, two, three frames. the queen in here a little bit of chocolate in this stupid hive too lots of eggs I have a frame that I just scraped off some of the honey that was in it from last year getting crystallized a little tough to get it off so I thought we would take it off give them something to work on what am I going to do to this one? Not much really happening. Could use a little bit of brood. That's it. So the intention is to go through this hive and see if we can split the queen cells up. See if we can get breed two queens out of this one. The hives at the farm seem to be doing a lot better than these ones. Well, four days ago, I moved all the queen cells to the upper box. So, make sure that's where they are. So, I haven't got a queen on this box. Storing lots of food away. Nothing is it to be expected. Sure, quiet for a queen massage, but I guess they got queen cells. A brood coming out in this. Just making sure I haven't got a virgin queen or something floating in here already. Just food. These all look empty. So this is the frame that has three queen cells. So this is the one I think I'll put up top here. Or sorry, down below. Okay, this has got one here. And another one here. So we're gonna make sure we leave this one in the top. Just trying to decide which of these will leave. Both of them have lots of food on it. This has a little bit of nectar and food. I'll eat this one. Okay, so this is a double screen board. It's got wire mesh top and bottom. I think I'm going to remove this divider. All right, stay tuned, we'll see what these guys do. And next week, we'll know if they have a couple queens or not. Just an update after I went back and put most of the gear away, I came back and thought, I'm gonna use this queen raising box, it's split, it's a deep, it's got a divider on the middle, just not very many bees in this hive. So I just put uh, basically three queen cells on one side, four on the other, and you can see there's not many bees, so 
We'll just see if these guys can survive. It's not supposed to be good for about a week, so I think, ah, oh boy, they, they're gonna have a hard time. So, that's what we're gonna try. It's the first time trying a, I think you call it a queen castle. Put that there. Do a little migratory cover here. Try that.